Hey YouTube, welcome back to Spark Starter Channel. Uh, I'm going to be using my 10,000 volt power supply from my previous video to power my little high voltage DC modules. So, what I've got here is uh, a Cockroft Walton multiplier circuit. Um, so, we have five stages here. Uh, five high voltage capacitors, five diodes. Uh, we have our high voltage AC input lines, black and red. And this blue line is kind of redundant. Uh, it connects to the uh, other uh, high voltage input. So it, be, it could be used as a, an opposing terminal for the high voltage output. So we should be able to take 10,000 volts from AC from our transformer and as it steps through each of these five stages each one of these capacitors should charge up to 10,000 volts and the diodes allow them to connect in series and that will give us a 50,000 volt potential. Similarly I built another module now the only difference with this module is that the diodes you'll notice are in reverse order. So this will give me a 50,000 volt negative polarity. So between the two high voltage Cockroft volt multiplier uh, modules, we should be able to get a potential of 100,000 volts between the two output terminals. So I share a few construction tips here for these modules. Uh, I've got a 3D printed enclosure. A uh, little bit of epoxy seeped out. So what I did is once I put the uh, print circuit board in my enclosure, uh, also I have a little, you might, uh, might be hard to notice, but there's a few little 3D printed features that allow the printed circuit board to sit up off the bottom of the enclosure so that the epoxy seeps underneath. And so I, I potted these high voltage circuit boards with this glaze coat, uh, craft resin so this has uh, pretty good insulating properties if i didn't use the uh the, the epoxy um there would be arcing across the uh the printed circuit board terminals so this has a much higher breakdown voltage than air so it's good to pot these uh, to get the highest voltage potentials um, I tried to measure the uh, 100,000 volts I should expect to get from these two modules with the probe. But I think, uh, although this is a little greater than 40 mega ohm high voltage probe, I think it's just too much leakage current goes through here, uh, given the s size of these capacitors. So I can't measure it um, accurately. And also I notice if I get a lot of corona discharge from the tips, I don't get... Uh, quite as long a spark. So if I was to do this again, I might uh, go with a little bit bigger, bigger printed circuit board with a little bit larger capacitor values. So I have more, more charge to accumulate um, so that, you know, things like a, a placing a, a large value resistor across it um, won't bleed off all the charge. There's a few details, other details here. Me, I um, designed these printed circuit boards uh, for this project. So just the through holes and all the tracing is on the front side. And I use these little, uh, 25 kilovolt high voltage capacitors here. And I use, uh, for the diodes, I use these two CL two FM high voltage diodes. And I'll try to provide the specific uh, ratings for the diodes and capacitors in the description below. So that's an overview of the uh, high voltage multiplier modules. So let's do a quick video of how they work. <laughs> 